Our fourth graders are learning about how energy can be transferred from place to place by electric currents. In this video, I'll show you how to create a complete circuit, specifically a voice recorder. To work the voice recorder, you will need to press the button that makes a beeping sound. This button is what you hold as you speak into the mic. Hello, my name is David. Then press the other button. The mic converts your voice into an electrical signal, and the speaker takes the signal and converts it back to sound. Here are the items provided for the projects. A circuit board that contains a small mic and connectors. A speaker two buttons, a wired battery holder, foam board, box cutters, and X-Acto knives. If you look at this diagram, you can see that the electrical current starts at the negative end of the battery. The black wires will represent the wire used for the electrical current to get to the electrical load. The electrical load is the component that uses the battery's power which in this case is the circuit board that contains the mic and speaker. After the electrical current passes through the load, it heads over to the positive end of the battery. We will use red wires for this path. In this diagram, there is a switch that breaks the circuit or interrupts the current. In our device, we will be using the buttons instead of a switch. First, let's start with the power source the component that supplies electric energy to the electrical load. We will connect the black wire of the battery holder to the black wire of the circuit board. I like to create a cross between the wires and then twist them together. If the aluminum wires are not visible, you can use the wire strippers to strip the wire. Next, add the buttons to the two connectors. Then connect the speaker wires to the white wires of the circuit board. I recommend using electrical tape to tape down the wires behind the speakers. The wire connection of the speakers are pretty weak. Finally, connect the red wire of the circuit board to the red wire of the battery holder. Go ahead and test out your circuit and troubleshoot any problems you might find. Now it is time to create the casing for your device. You will create a simple blueprint and then use the box cutters or X-Acto knives and foam board to create the casing. After you have built the casing and added the circuit to its casing, you can use electrical tape to secure the wire connections. Or, if you have experience with soldering, solder the wires together. So now it's your turn. Good luck.